Hello and welcome to this next tutorial in Pygame. So what we're going to do today is we're going to stop our red rectangle from disappearing off the top of the screen um, so that we can you know keep it within the screen and it doesn't disappear. So it's basically we're doing collision detection um, against the edges of the screen. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write a little if statement. We're going to say if x is greater than zero allow the um, block to move to the left. That's basically what we're saying. So if the x position is greater than zero, allow it to move to the left. Let's see that working and get an idea of what's going on. Okay, so I've just run the code and you can see that my little block is here and now he can't go off the edge of the screen because if he went off the edge of the screen, the x position would be less than zero so this if statement wouldn't be true, so it stops me from you know, decreasing the value of the x on my little red block, which means he stops, basically. So the way to understand this is in Pygame, everything's drawn from the top left-hand corner. So this position is 0, 0 um, in x and y. So this is 0, x, 0, y. Right the way over here, this screen is 700 across, so this would be 700 in x, 0 in y, and it's 500 down, so this position would be 700 um, in x and 500 in y. So by saying, you know, only allow the position to change if x is greater than 0, we're saying if this left-hand edge, that's where it's drawn from, so that's the x position of the um, rectangle, um, if it goes beyond the 0 coordinate here is going to go into the minus figure because therefore it's no longer greater than zero stop it moving so you know we've got this left hand corner covered all the way up and down no longer can he go off so the next thing we need to do is apply similar logic to the rest of the code so for the right arrow we now know that the far right hand side of the screen is 700 so for this one what we're going to do let's just put a little space in there we're going to say um, if x is not equal to 680, 680 okay so i'm saying as long as the x position is not equal to 680 keep moving um, keep moving the uh, block to the right so you might think well he just said it's 700 so why on earth is he saying 680 good reason our block is 20 um, wide. So if I said it's not equal to 700 because of the way you know the rectangle object is drawn um, it would disappear just off the edge of the screen. So let's see that working. So here we have our block again. So remember I said that everything's drawn from here. So this is the x0, this is x plus the width of the object which in this case is 20. <laughs> So if we didn't say 680, it would carry on going until this edge was right here. And in effect, you wouldn't see it. It would hover just off the edge of the screen. And I don't want to do that. I want to stop it on the edge of the screen, which is why I've minus the width of our rectangle 20 off 700 so that he stops you know, nicely just on the far right of the screen done so now we can stop our object going left and right we just now need to sort out up and down so we're going to do a similar thing for the up arrow now it's a little bit counterintuitive because of the way Pygame draws but we're going to use zero again because um, zero in the y-axis is the very top of the screen and we don't want our rectangle disappearing off the top so again, we're going to say if the Y position is greater than zero, so if it's going to go off the top of the screen, stop it from going any further um, up the screen, because as we now know, this is zero in the Y, and the very bottom of our screen is 700 in Y. Sorry, 500 in Y. So let's just sort out the down key. So we just need one more little bit of code here. So here's the down key. Make a little space. I'm going to tab in to get the indentation correct. And then let's just move that one back and hit enter. Okay, I think that's actually slightly too far over. That looks better. There we go. Right, so now we're going to say, I'm just going to check that now. Yes, Bob. So now we're going to say 
if the y-axis um, position of our little block is less than 480 for exactly the same reason as before um, if we said less than 500 then it would just drop slightly off the bottom of the screen so we're going to minus the length for this time of the rectangle which again is 20 because it's a square and we're going to say you know stop it increasing in other words stop it go stop it from going down the screen so let's have a wee look so here we go here's our code now so if we come to the bottom stops there if i did change that to 500 the same thing would happen again it would stop when that bit of the rectangle reached the bottom here so it would just go off the bottom of the screen which we don't want so now we have collision detection all the way around our screen just by adding a couple of very basic if statements and it works exactly as intended job done now I'm just going to show you a couple of other things in this tutorial. At the moment this is looking, you know, pretty boring. So we're going to change a few items of the code. So you can see here I've defined green and I've also since last time defined a gray color. So we've got 128 128 128 in the red, blue and green channels which will give us gray. And 25 sorry, 0 in the um red channel 255 in the green and zero in the blue gives us green so what i'm going to do first i'm going to rather than fill the screen with white i'm going to fill it with green so now we'll get a green background color now if i was going to make this into say for example a racing game i'd want to draw a road so i'm just going to use another sort of rectangle exactly the same code as here with a few different exceptions so this time instead of making it red i'm going to make it gray and i'm putting it you know roughly in the center of the screen and i'm making it 500 in width and 500 in height so if we run our code now we'll see we've got something that's starting to look you know a little bit more like a game so here we have it we've got our um, road we've got our green on the edge but you know we're looking at this now and we're going oh hang on a minute where has our block gone and we can't see it so we're thinking where's it gone oh there he is you can see he's actually underneath the gray rectangle we've drawn now basically the order this stuff goes down on the screen is the order in which you know we've written the code so because we've defined our red sort of player rectangle before we've drawn the rectangle for the gray road that's why he did he appears underneath so simple fix all we have to do is make sure that we define our player um, our little red um, square after we've drawn the road and then if we run it now we will see problem fixed we now have our little sort of you know car if you like on a road and we've got sort of green for grass on the edge so beginning to look a little bit more like a game now now obviously to make it more realistic still you can draw some more rectangles in here fill it with white to make sort of like the lines in the middle of the road um, we can now change our collision detection a little bit to collide you know collision detect off the edge of the road here and here and we will have a look at that in the next tutorial thanks for watching i'll catch up with you in the next tutorial bye for now